to me because I have to, I have to put on the video. C63 2008 to 2010 C63 2010 with oh come on there is a problem here with it yeah there's a big problem here 227,000 kilometers oh boy all right, splendid. Now, there is one problem here with the key. It's supposed to lock, and when you put it inside... It's supposed to not be like that, but it is. And then here, the steering wheel... What's wrong with the steering wheel? It feels like it has a steering box with too much clearance yeah okay continue with the health report here <sighs> one second since the bottle is open let's see the battery what in hell is going on here okay aftermarket battery nothing wrong with that just just it is what it is right yeah Okay, let's close back. Let's see front here. Oh boy. All right, remove both air boxes. One spark plug per bank. Yeah, all dipsticks broken. The PCV looks like it's been replaced. Zero something twenty one. All right, coolant expansion tank. Yeah, definitely it's been replaced. Yep, yep, fine. What in hell is going on here? What they did over there? This model is supposed to have a pump here, right? wiring on the air it's missing the bracket here down stalker filters okay here the throttle the plug for the throttle with the cable tight and broken and here with the wire yeah okay the intake manifold it comes apart here they put epoxy intake manifold is gone Yeah, intake manual is gone. Charcoal canister solenoid valve. Love is in the air. How they wrote it like that? The pipe is in the air. Oh boy. Open also one cover, but before you open it, remove the air boxes. Put the rack there, don't feel anything inside. Blow with air because it's full of sand. Okay. Alright? And remove uh, both spark plugs? One. One from this side, one from that side, just to have an eye on it. What is that? Don't ask, don't ask, right? The foam on the bumper reinforcement is missing. Very near to the transmission oil cooler. It's supposed to don't be. It's supposed to don't touch like that. It's supposed to don't touch the transmission oil cooler on the bumper reinforcement. Let's start from that. It looks like that's down. Let's take out this one. It looks like. Okay. This, the coolers to be so near to the bumper reinforcement, and from this side to touch, it's supposed to don't be like that. 
reckon I'm stopping there with that. All right, let's move on. Is, you, can you please give me the rug over there? The rug. Yes. Okay, the engine's floating. That's a good one. <clears throat> what do we have here? It's supposed to go... Yeah, later, not now. All right, tires. <clears throat> 15 week of 21. Outside. All right. Brake pads okay, brake rotors looks okay. Yep. Nice. <clears throat> twenty four, twenty one, outside. Very rotos, nice. Brake pads, yep, beautiful. Yep, looking good, looking good. Looks a little bit more out. The tailpipes supposed to don't be so much out. We're gonna see about that. 25, 21. Outside, all right. Very good, it looks okay. Brake pads okay. <clears throat> and here. Fifteen twenty one outside. All right. Yep. Plenty of meat. Nice. Let's continue here. What do we have here? All right. Rack there. I go there. No. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, move on to elements. Yeah, no worries. I'll gonna open to see this one. See any date here? 2019. All right, I did change it, and I see a little bit black terminal there on the side. We're gonna see if there's any fault. Okay, and let's see the filter as well. Uh, the make a health report. Uh, I don't know. Really, I, will ask. I think Mohammed he was doing earlier. Just he plugged the the diagnostic. Are they working on the work covers? Yeah. You don't see any leak, right? No. Alright. Fine. Looks like it has a new pump. Okay. Close back in. Wow! Has it been a Fuel pump controller on the air. It's supposed to be there. Okay. Fine. Closed by again. One spark plug out. Holy shit. Yep. Tell them to put by again inside. It's missing also from this side the bracket. Yes, it's missing from this side. Yeah, same shit, different bank, right? Put again back. 
you don't be contaminated with the cylinder. Same thing from this side, open that cover. Before you open this cover, because it's still hot, leave it some chance to cool down the engine. Put the spark plugs back, lift up the car and open for me all three covers. Yes. Yeah, the belt is nice, nice and soft, in and out. They're yeah, looking good. Yes, health report. Very good, one second. All right. Six volts. Let me go away from here, so to continue working here. Put, put again back. One second to find the page. One second. The rail pressure sensor has malfunction, the signal from the sensor to band 1 is shift over 3 it's, it's ok, position sensor 1 for the has circuit positive Oxygen sensor 2 Stop, 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 active, active, ok It's part number, it's now this one Alright, we can see the wiring. Yeah, it's missing the bracket here. Yeah, it's missing the steel bracket that comes there. And this one's for the cover. How the how it ended up this one there? Take this out from there. Somebody push it. Shit, it's hot. Take it out this for the cover. Stored, stored, stored. Take it away, this on the cover later on when it comes to time. The most probably the owner he changed the battery recently. We need to clear the faults and to see what faults are remaining inside. Alright, gentlemen. Just put the spark plugs, put the coils from there, lift it up, leave some, give some chance, you know, to cool down the engine, because it's still hot. Yeah. Take a look. Oh boy. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. It's not even aligned, the air duct for the oil cooler, it's not, it's not even aligned with the air duct for the bumper. Yeah, splendid. Yeah, the ambient temperature sensor is not existing, forget about that. Full of oil down here. Alright, open it, I'm going back. I'm gonna see what they did with the exhaust. What they did with the exhaust. They remove the small pipe and they weld the small pipe instead of going the same diameter here. Yeah. Yep. Instead of being proper to don't have a restriction here. Yeah, I mean you're doing all this fixed at least properly. And the muffler here is touching on the bumper. Yay! All right, what the hell is that? <laughs> two nine two two eight two. Sorry. At least has the covers. Something is that. All right, rims tires. Right, outer axle boot, inner axle boot, completely broken. Long time ago, there's no grease inside anymore. How the the brake line, it's touching on the rim. 
How did Manasa do that? How they did that? Alright. Rain looks okay, tire from the inside looks okay. Shock absorber has a leak. Outer axle boot looks okay, inner axle boot doesn't look cracked. Only this one. You need to change all four of them, not only one. Obviously, breather okay. When did they change transmission? Uh, differential oil? I don't know. Need to be checked the bus. There and the two buses back here. This is fine. How the fuck up this one? Yeah, all right. This shock absorber looks that's not leaking. Fine, fine. Right. Has the covers. Drives a rubber coupler. This was this was once upon a time drives a rubber coupler. It's not anymore. This is gone. The drive the rubber cable, the rear one at least, need to be changed yesterday. And we'll continue with the modifications here. Oh boy. Also the front drive the rubber cable need to be replaced. Yep. Transmission mount looks new, full up. This is some oil here. The cover is missing for the plug. <sighs> Looks like the transmission up it's dry. Here where is the seal, it's yeah. wet. Yeah. You see? It's leaking. It's leaking the seal all around. Take a look at it, put on the ground here. The seal for the string shaft is missing completely. Alright, we need to check also the steering axle. What in here they have done here? Yeah, I sure, saw I sure. Also here the brackets are missing. It's leaking also for the oil from the oil pan. Take a look sealant on the manifold. Silicon or whatever. Also the tubes. Everywhere. Have already opened the cylinder heads. Ah, the stud is missing on the on the exhaust manifold. There is no stud for the exhaust manifold. Yeah, all right. One second, I'm coming there. I haven't I haven't come there, you know. How many studs are missing? Right, from this side looks okay. Here looks okay. Only one stud from that side. Yeah, it looks like only one start from the driver's side, from the bank too. Okay, continue. Now, the oil pan is leaking here. <coughs> That's how it looks like. And then we have... <laughs> we have the steering rack. And we have also the transmission oil lines. This for the cooler that they put inside. They put a different pipe here and it looks like it's leaking. Oh boy. From where to start and where to stop? Engine mounts, yeah. This has, it became like a balloon. It sits low, but it's floating. That means it's not urgent, it's not in the best shape. I'm gonna say that it's 20 to 30 percent healthy. Oh, it's ah no, sorry, I was thinking it was broken. No, it's not. Sorry. But this black what has down there, this from the engine mount. The black uh, mark over there. This is the hydraulic fluid that came out from the mount. It's coming out, but still floating the engine. Don't ask me how. 
since still floating. Stabilizer bar. Yeah, gone. Rim tire inside looks okay. Fine. Can you please move left and right the, the wheel? You don't feel something, right? Yeah. And me, I don't, don't feel something. All right, come from the driver's side, please. Do the same thing here. Yeah. And here, it's disaster, eh? Do it again. Yeah, the steering rack, it's playing like anything. Yeah, it's playing all in, up and down. It's not the tie rod, it's the steering rack itself. Stabilize the bar link. Yeah, gone. What in hell is happening here? I'm afraid to touch it. Always, how many times I have put the temperature sensor in place? In how many cars? I don't know. There you go. Take a look at mess here. Wiring here. It's the, the, the frame that's supporting the coolers is broken. Probably. Here we have a cable. It goes here. What the? What the hell is that? Hey, a needle electrician yesterday. <laughs> here we have amazing stuff. This is what? What in hell is that? This came from the transmission line. Oh no, this, what the fuck is that? And where it go? Yes, you are right in the transmission line. Is it? No, they put another cooler. They put another cooler here. What the? This one, this cover, see? Yeah, this for the original, this for the transmission, all right? The thing is, there is another transmission oil cooler down here, and there is another one up. Take a look at the line. Oh, bullshit. What do you want to do here, Mr. Omar? We have this mention and... Uh, <sighs> yeah, I need to mention. Here it's missing one piece. Now he bought the car, it's pre-purchased checkup. No, I didn't ask him. Move, come, come to see the steering, uh, the steering rack. What's the steering rack? Okay, all right, man. Thank you. Yeah, I have to fill two job cards. Not one. It's leaking also from the, the power steering pump here. Where's the water? You know, to fix all this mess, you know what you have to do. You have to strip off the front end. Yeah, take everything out and see and fix properly all this front piece, you know? With all this shit that they have done. From the pipes, from everything. M missing bolts on the brackets. See how they root it. It's missing also one stud from not from the side, from the other side. Okay, the cup is dropping the ocean here. All right, make it down and bring the job card and continue with the cover. Something that I didn't show earlier. <laughs> I fixed it. <laughs> Okay. See the seals? Okay, it's soft. Yeah, it's soft. It's been changed recently. Yeah, classic, classic signs of wear on the camshaft lobe.
This is okay. This lobe is okay. Has some signs of wear here on the edge. This, it's more tired. This is rough. And not gonna get better. All right. All right. Fine, nothing to see here. Close by again, man. Put back together. The bolts, old head bolts. It looks like that they opened the cylinder heads before. That's how it looks like. I might, maybe I make mistake, but if they open it and they close back with the old head bolts, what to do? What to say? Right? <laughs> right. Close back again, please. All right, plenty things to need to be done on the car. Ideal gonna be nice to strip off all the front end of the car to see what's going on behind. Why to have all these coolers, these coolers bent. Then there is another cooler down there. Then there is another cooler down there. One's supposed to be for the transmission and for the power steering to fix it properly and to don't have a cables hanging here and there. Bolts are missing. All right, stabilizer bar links front, engine mounts optional, uh, exhaust manifold gaskets without silicon to put fresh and to put also the stuff that's missing, to repair the exhaust from the header till the end to don't be like this, uh, axle boot back inner and outer, one time, rear differential with cohesion mark, I don't know if the owner he changed it recently. Transmission oil filter and seal because it has a leak. A oil pan reseal it and the drain plug replacing it. Then, this is now out of memory, the most things, what I'm saying. Intake manifold, like I said, fine. The secondary injection, no need to be replaced because you, you can block it. You can just block the, the line and you can make it from the computer to deactivate completely. It does have a catalytic converters, does make any sense. Air filters, AC filter. Uh, then, 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 steering rack, steering rack. The steering pump that has a leak from the bolt, the main bolt that it's giving pressure down on the steering rack. Some plastic covers, Willard's liners that they're broken. Plenty of things. The ignition switch, the EZS inside, it's bites, it bites, it's not letting you to turn the key easily, but it doesn't have any fold on the diagnostic, and it's not locking the steering wheel. You're supposed to, when you remove the key, it's supposed to lock the steering wheel. You should hear the mechanism, but you don't hear nothing. All right. Stuff like that. Now, let's stop the video and make it again up and double check everything again, get the crowbar, check the suspension at least tires and brakes looks ok seals looks like they, they already changed it spark plugs, there is some contamination from an oil but if you fix the intake manifold you're not going to have these kind of things the bracket that's missing on this pipe the other bracket that's missing on this pipe the bracket for the charcoal canister solenoid valve brackets here and there and I don't know, the ABS unit has a leak or they just replace it. We're gonna see about that. Plenty of things need to be done here. The uh, power steering fluid, it's not the CHF11S, it's a red color. <clears throat> All right. Yep, that's it. That's it for you. Let me continue here to finalize it. That's the first part. I don't know if there will gonna be another part. Maybe they're not gonna fix anything. Maybe they're gonna fix something. I have no clue. Yeah, all right. All right. Correct, Mr. Rahman? Yes. Yeah, Hamad. Sorry. All good? Yes. All well. The aluminum foil, you like it here? Most probably there is a bulb inside. Hmm. That's it, over and out.